Since my solo panels arrived, I decided to take a break from the electronics side of the build and start working on attaching the solo panels to the frame. First I needed to find the midpoint for the front of the frame. Next I needed to find the midpoint on the solo panel. Next I aligned the solo panel's midpoint with the frame's midpoint. This would ensure the solo panel was centered with the rest of the frame. Next I needed to take several measurements so that I could connect the solar panel to the frame. By the way, I have just updated the Google SketchUp model with the stripped down version of the model that should give you quick and easy access to the solar panel's frame. So for most of the parts in this video, I recommend referring to the Google SketchUp model. Next I began to cut out all of my solar panel frame pieces. In order to connect the piece, I needed to disassemble part of the frame. Next I was trying to feel with my finger where the hole was underneath the solar panel so that I could attach the front part of the solar panel frame in the right spot. Next I marked and drilled out my holes. Next I marked where my L bracket needed to be placed and then drilled out those holes. Next I began working on the front bridge piece that would allow the solar panel to rest on top of. I cut the front leg piece at an angle since the solar panel would be secured at an angle. After drilling out the holes, I could begin attaching the leg piece. I used some smaller hex bolts in order to secure the piece. Next I removed the rightermost bolt in order to place a L bracket that would hold the bridge piece in place. Next I measured how wide the bridge piece needed to be. Once the piece was cut, I could mark and drill my holes and secure the piece. Next I went ahead and placed the Z-style brackets onto the solar panels. I then placed the front Z style brackets on the front bridge piece to mark where my holes needed to be. I used a spare Z style bracket to mark the holes and then drilled out my holes.
Next, I place my solar panel back on top of the bridge piece and then I can screw the frame down. Next, I use some spare material to help prop up the back side of the front solo panel. I also did the same for the back solo panel. Next, I mark where the screw was holding the solar panel together so that I would not accidentally drill a hole in that spot. Next, I took several measurements so that I could determine where I could place my holes to connect both solar panels to each other. I next used a small drill bit to etch where my hole needed to be and to help the larger drill bit to properly stay on course while drilling the hole. Next I could begin working on the piece that would hold both solar panels together. Next, I used some pan head slotted screws and nuts to hold the two solar panels together. Next, I also attached the legs for the back solar panel frame. You will have to refer to the Google SketchUp model for the dimensions since I did not have any video footage for this step, but the concept is very similar to the front of the frame. Next, I needed to drill two more holes to help prevent the solar panels from moving up and down. Once the connection piece was back on, I could mark and drill my holes. I should also point out that since the solo panel frame was not perfectly level, I had to use a series of washers and a longer hex bolt to help correct the offset on the left side of the frame.
Hello guys and ladies that does conclude this video now I just want to take a break from editing video and say a couple of things before I end this particular video if you find these videos interesting or helpful a way that you can show me that is by liking a video or leaving comments below the particular video that you found interesting or helpful or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel like my Facebook page follow me on Twitter or you can share with others that you think may find this particular video interesting so any of those things or many more or will actually show me that you guys appreciate all the time and effort that I'm putting into these videos and it also boosts my motivation to spend more effort and time with trying to make these more informative and trying to get them out on YouTube and on the web a lot quicker so with that said I will see you in the next video